Welcome back to another Canon Quick Shot, a quick review of a non-comic book or superhero movie. I'm your host, Terry, and today I'm looking at Girls Trip, starring Queen Latifah, Jada Pickett Smith, Regina Hall, and newcomer Tiffany Haddish. So this is the story about four friends who are a long-time friends, group, all that, haven't seen each other in a while, they got older, they got busy, they grew apart, and now they come together for, not a final, but one more great adventure as they uh, have an all-access pass to the Essence Festival in New Orleans. So, I mean, it sounds familiar because we've seen it before, but we recently saw it with Rough Night, the Scarlett Johansson movie, which I reviewed, and I'll put that in the description, wasn't a great movie. That, that went a little crazy. But where that movie kind of went off the rails, that's why I feel this movie stayed on course. So I would suggest you go see it. It's, um, it's a comedy, still a summer comedy. Definitely, uh, I mean, it was the crowd was a bunch of friends, groups of uh, women, of course, which is fine. But you could go with your girlfriend, whatever. And so I would suggest you go see it if you uh, either if it's cheap Tuesday or if you want something to do, uh, you want to laugh. It's something I would uh, recommend that you go see. Uh, but you could wait to Redbox, but I would go see it. Um, but yeah, so the movie itself, man, I don't have a lot of negatives to say about it. I like everything it did. It understood what it was. And it, um, while it didn't have any groundbreaking parts in anything, it's, it was good throughout the whole movie. Now, the movie's over two hours. Now, usually with comedies, you want to see them a little shorter because you feel like they're running out of material or they're forcing too much. But this movie, while I think could have been a tiny bit shorter, it holds your attention all the way through. And it does feel like a cohesive, fresh movie. And it doesn't seem like they're just repeating stuff after a while. So I do give them props for that. Another thing I really like about this movie, it didn't feel the need to be like, hey, we're feminists. What about women? Or it didn't feel the need to say, hey, black power. What about black people? It just really was a unique story to these four women and their dynamic and what's going on with them as a group. And so while there's definitely... You know, a uh, strong uh, cultural part for black people, of course. It is a female perspective. It doesn't say, okay, throw it, you know, in your face. Like, this is what this is. Men are evil. Or we don't like white people. It didn't do any of that. It felt like as a man, as a woman, white, black, short, tall, don't matter. You could really sit down and just enjoy this movie for what it was. Now, Tiffany Haddish, the newcomer. You, some, I, I believe I've seen her do stand-up, so some people might know her from other things. I've seen her face. I didn't really know her work. Steals this movie. There's nobody you talk to that tell you she didn't steal this movie. And it wasn't so much the, she's the funny friend. Let's give her some funny things to say. It was that, but it was like the whole movie was her like carrying the, the comedic parts. So I was, I was shocked because usually the newcomers, they ease them in, but they really gave her the movie and let her run with it. So she was absolutely amazing. And not just the comedy, like, I mean, it's not a spoiler. They, it's a lot of dancing in the movie. She was, she was, she was getting it. So I, I, I'm like, man, I'm over the, I love her. I love her. I can already tell she's going to be my new favorite. The only few negatives I had is that I don't feel like it, it utilized the cast best because Regina Hall, I think, is the second funniest after Tiffany. And her character, she didn't get to do much of anything funny wise. And then Queen Latifah. She didn't really do much in the movie either. She definitely had an important part to the story, but I felt like they could have used her more. And J.D. Pickett as well, same situation. I think she's funny. She's been funny. But they, they had moments, but they didn't really let each character be the best, you know, they can with their talents. But, you know, that's a small nitpick. And then the second small nitpick, which is just movies, these ladies are not the same age. These ladies ain't nowhere near the same age. You just watching and you just like, I feel the friendship. It's a great chemistry, but it's like, okay, you could be her auntie, not her best friend from college or, you know, something like that. They The ages don't really match up, but I love the ladies together, so it works. Anyway, so I'm giving this movie an 85 out of 100. Solid, uh, above average movie. Really enjoyed it. I think it'll be funny on repeat. And yeah, I liked it. So if you saw it, go to the comment section. Let me know what you thought. If you want to see it, what are you excited about? Thumbs up, subscribe. And if you heard it here, it's official canon.